video. I figured I better shut the door so that, I don't know, we can hear something because the traffic's going by. So, I've been trying to come up with some ideas for a few gifts. Um, and I come across this this morning. Wasn't, it wasn't all what I was looking for, I just say that. But, um, I got these little rolling pins at Hobby Lobby. They were... Hold on just a second, I'll tell you. $3.99 for three of them. So when they go on sale, they're not on sale because they're not, you know, the wood is always $5.99 and that. But they're just a little, give you kind of some idea, a little bit bigger than my, well, I've got small hands, y'all, so. Um, and I had gotten these rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree. They're really cute. And I thought, hmm, I want to use something like this. So, I don't know. This may not come out well. <laughs> but it might come out great. Who knows? So, I thought, well, if I stained them and then painted them and sanded them and made a big ordeal because that's what I do when I do what I'm doing, um, that they might come out really cute. So, I'm trying to make them shabby chic and um, not farmhouse. There's a difference. I like a mixture of shabby chic and farmhouse, so I'm putting gloves on you. So, what I'm going to use that I know of right now is these rolling pins. Oh, and I got some of these clothes pins or clothes pegs, doll pins. You know what I'm saying. And they were $4.99, but there's 30 of them in there, so I didn't figure that was too bad. They wouldn't be on sale either, so... It wasn't going to matter what day I bought them. It's going to be half price or full price. So, this is going to be messy. <laughs> like everything I do. Um, and so, I'm going to stain them first. And I've got a little bitty bit of this Jacobian left. I use this a lot. Well, I say that. I used to use that a lot on my furniture. I and mean, then I have gone to using my Dixie Belle stains my no pain gel stains but I have some of this left over and there's not very much of it left so I want to try to get it used up so I don't waste it so oh lord open a window when y'all do this guys huh. and wear gloves don't don't be like me I learned because well there was a lot of times I didn't wear gloves so and we won't, yeah, whole pieces of furniture. My hands were like black. So, I'm hoping that this will take the stain. Yeah, it's taking it pretty good. The um, only thing is when you're working with stain, you got to give it time to dry really well. Um, and a lot of that will depend on how wet you get it, which will... You know, you can wipe it off and wipe it down. Stain is real easy to work with. It's messy, but it's not hard. You know what I'm saying? So, and stain, a lot of people think you have to rub stain with the grain. You don't necessarily have to. Um, I do, but that's because I paint furniture and that's just the way I do it. Um, that, you know, that's just the way I do it. So, it's pretty dark. But, we're going to put paint over it, so it won't matter. I'm going to do all three of them, let it kind of soak in a little bit. And then I'll go back and wipe them off. I went to um, Arkansas this weekend, Hot Springs. Um, and the, the weather was not much different. It was kind of cool there. Fort is cool here, too. But um, the trees, the difference in the trees really gets me. So I had some coughing on Sunday, like, you know, people staring at me because I was coughing, kind of. And then a lot of coughing on Monday. And yesterday I was just kind of hoarse sounding. I don't feel bad. Um, my throat don't hurt or anything. So 
you know, it's okay. So, and like this one, see how it's got an indention in it? That stuff doesn't bother me. Just, you know, mash down hard so you can get that stain down in there. Some people it might would really bother, but it, it doesn't bother me. Um, I think it gives character. So, I went to Hobby Lobby looking for something. I don't know. I want to do something different. Um, and so, I went to Hobby Lobby looking. And had I thought about it, I would have been looking at the thrift stores all year long for some big rolling pins. Because I think this would be a cute idea with big rolling pins, too. So, those are done. Those are done. Now, I'm going to wipe them off. And I went ahead and got the little clothes peg things out because I want to stain some of them too. And I don't want to have to keep wasting gloves and because gloves are now expensive. They used to be fairly cheap. Um, but they're not anymore for reasons that I'm sure I don't have to tell you on a video. So, I just try to wipe them off real good and get any extra moisture off there extra moisture but yeah I think I'm gonna start looking for some big ones in in the thrift stores it wouldn't matter if they you know sometimes a wood pin if like if you put it in the dishwasher it'll soak up too much water and it'll kind of get aged looking and then people don't want to use it because they think it's bad so, if you were going to do this, it wouldn't matter that it was like that. Oh, okay. So, I think I want to do a few of these, too. I should have probably gotten these out. But I don't want to have to get my stain back out. So, I'm just going to do a handful of these while I'm here. Maybe I'll do eight because, you know, that just seems like the right number. It seems like the right number. So, Christmas is like rushing upon us. I don't know where this year is gone. It seemed like almost that it went so slow, but then when I look back, I'm like, dang, it sure went fast. But I'm sure it's because of everything that's gone on, you know. Seems like it's never going to get over. Now, this is not accepting this as freely as that did. So, I am going... It is taking it, but you'll see it when we wipe it off. Um, it's going on a little more like it's just sitting on the top. So, I'll show you here in a minute. And that's okay. It will give it a different look. And, um, but for what we're going to do, it's not going to matter. If you wanted this to take the stain a whole lot on these little peg things, you might want to sand them and get whatever coating they have on their off. Uh, for what I'm doing, I don't think it's going to matter. Um, and if it does, we'll go back in with gel stain. Um, gel stain is meant to go over coatings. Uh, it'll adhere to the coating and not to the wood. The only problem with it is then you don't necessarily get all the um, details of the wood itself. Which, I mean, it can still be okay depending on what look you're going for. And I'll probably have to do the rolling pin video in a couple of videos. Um, it takes a little bit for the stain to dry. Or I may could do one and just put them together. That would maybe be better. So. But we have decided in my family um, to do what we call a handmade Christmas. You know, they've made such a big to-do about all this Christmas isn't going to be here because it's in the ocean kind of thing. And um, we're just not going to play into that. Um, 
I will tell you that I think it's a ploy to make everybody start buying now and spend more money because they've got everybody scared and then stuff they really wanted showed up and then they're going to buy that to you. But I won't, I won't, I won't do that to you. I won't get into that. So, and these just, I mean, if you want it all the way down in there, just get your, don't do what I'm doing, I guess. Yeah, take your paper towel and go down in there. To me, that's not as important because nobody's really going to see it by the time we get done, I don't think. Now watch. Yeah, they will. And then I'll be saying, hey, go do that instead. So now I'm going to take this. I'll be, just wipe them down. Yeah, it took okay. Um, yeah, I guess it did. Maybe because we let it set a minute. Absorbed into, and that might have just been a wax on top of there. So, I'm going to finish drying these off, and then we're going to have to let them set for a little bit to dry, because if you try to put paint or anything on this right now, um, you're going to have stain inside your paint and streaking, and it's going to be frustrating, and so I'm going to give this a little bit to dry, and then I'll come back and... We'll do what we're going to do next. Because I don't have a clue. I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. I guess that's okay, isn't it? So. Okay, y'all. I'm going to let this dry. And I will start the video back up. When I move on to the next step. Okay, so I let them dry, and then I got started and forgot that the camera wasn't on. So, um, I just put them in front of a fan and let them, let that fan blow on them. And this, I'm just going to paint them. And I opened, you know, I have paint. But most of it is at home, so I had to open some more. This color is kind of a gray white. It's called drop cloth. Um, and it's in, I saw it in my brick and mortar or on my Etsy. But I'm not trying to get like perfect coverage, but I want it covered. So. And it's not going to matter if you set it right down because we're going to distress it anyways. Um, and these little brushes are just cheap Walmart brushes. Um, and I had opened a new container so I was trying to use what I had off the bottom of that. I'm so frugal guys. And real. So I'm going to paint these. Now, if you're going to write on these, like with black magic marker or try to do a cricket thing, these are kind of small for all that. But I mean, I guess you could. Uh, then I would make sure that you had really good coverage to cover over that stain that we put on because it was oil based whereas the um, Dixie Bell stain it is water based so if it's oil based you know you want to be able to make it where stuff will actually stick to it And I'm thinking there's probably a really good way to do this where they're here let me get started and then think about what I can do as 
watch. I got these cups at the Dollar Tree because I was like, I need something to put my pins in. Bam. Bam. And it won't matter because the paint will come right off of that. And then I take it down and set it down because I'm smart like that. That would be the way to go right there. So, now my paper's going to try to... Yeah, my desk was all kinds of pretty. I had this wooden top. Of course, I painted it and stained it. And then one day I painted on it without anything underneath it. And it got all kinds of paint, you know. So now I need to redo the top, but I just keep painting on it instead of redoing it. Can y'all even see? I'm probably making y'all nervous wreck. That seems to hold them pretty good. Well, until you start going up on these edges. But I guess you can put your finger on it. Now watch, some of you be like, why didn't you do so-and-so? Because there'll be a really easy answer to this. Only, I won't have thought about it. Because I don't think about stuff like that. Isn't that weird? You have all these ideas floating around in your head. And then somebody will come up with some common sense thing. And you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah that makes sense. So, anyways, this weekend I went to a Hedy Lou Bricks conference and I had taken one of my journals that I had made um, to do all my notes and stuff in and I got several compliments on it, so I was really happy about that. There were several people that did um, scrapbooking and stuff that had seen junk journals, but they hadn't seen one up close or, you know, and so it was neat. They would stop and I would get tickled. You could tell people wanted to touch it, but they didn't want to touch it because, you know, it'd be like I would walk by when I'd come back to my, say I went to the bathroom or went to get a soda or something. People would be standing there looking at it. I'd be like, it's okay. You can touch it. And they get tickled. So that was kind of neat to, uh, you know, share in that. And show it to people that wouldn't normally or necessarily, you know, ever see one. So that was cool. Okay. Now I'm going to do some of these pink. But, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to mess. Oh, well, I have two brushes. Anyways, I've got the white open, so I'm going to do this in white. Oh, this is really probably going to be... Huh. It's okay. We'll just get fingerprints on it because I know what I'm going to do with it, so it ain't going to matter. Can y'all see? Who knows? One of these days, I'll find a decent setup for videoing. Now, like, see down in that, that little hole is dark down in there? Because when I go to distress it, it's going to pull the dark back around the edge. I want to get that paint in there so it'll look like it's been in there for a long time. And Dixie Bell paint is really good for just coverage because it's so thick. So if you're going to distress it, it shouldn't be like a big problem about you needing a whole bunch of coats. I will tell you a secret though. If you're using it and it starts to get like where your paintbrush feels like it's pulling, that means it's just getting dry. And you just spray it with some water, either your thing or your brush. And that'll help moisten it up some. And it'll help give you some better coverage too. And these I will do a second coat on just because 
I can see quite a bit of that stain through there. And I have the fan blowing on me, so it's going to dry pretty quick. Chalk paint, mineral paint, it dries quick anyways because of what it, you know, it's what it consists of. And you put a fan on it and it may dry before you're ready for it to. Yeah, I think I'm going to do two of these white. Give that a chance to dry just and then one pink. Oh, hold on. Look, see I got smart. If I do this handle right quick. Then by the time I need to hold the handle to do the other handle, it'll be dry. See, sometimes I just come up with good things all on my own. Y'all are probably thinking, I'm just watching this lady paint. That's boring. So, what I'm trying to do is come up with ideas that maybe not everybody has done. I want to send a few little gifts out and uh, so I walked by these. I don't even remember what I was doing on that aisle. There's no telling. Oh, I was looking for those little spools. Um, y'all see what I just did? I painted that so I could hold it. Then I came down here and painted it and then I put a second coat on that so I'm just still stuck. Well, I mean, I'm not stuck. I can get fingerprints on it, but I'm just saying my mind doesn't necessarily engage. So, anyways, back to the conference. We had a really good time. It was really pretty in Arkansas this time of year. Um... It was cool, but it was cool in Oklahoma that weekend, too, last weekend. So. And I don't typically use gloves when I paint. Um, chalk paint is all I use. I won't say all I use. Yeah, it's pretty much all I use. And it will, I mean, just come right off. So it's not a big deal. My hand is cramping holding these. I didn't shut the door before I started filming again. I don't like being stuck in an office. I'm here by myself. And I feel closed up if the doors not open so it is really a battle in the summertime it's not too bad um, in the winter time it can be pretty cold so I don't get to have it open as much and I would normally tell you to give you know 20 or 30 minutes drying time in between these coats but I like I said I have the fan on so it's not going to be that big of a deal and they're light coats it's not like I'm really piling paint on I'm just giving it coverage so Back to the, our conversation from before. They said that there's a lot of things sitting in the ocean, you know. They either can't get into ports or there's not enough people to unload or... Which is sad. It's sad that it's that way. These, I'm not going to give them any more coverage because I am going to distress them anyways. Now... Y'all are going to laugh. Chalk paint requires like hardly any clean up. Just water. So I'm just going to set that brush in some water. Don't get it up on your metal thing because it will try to be resting under there and be all kinds of nasty. But. And you want to always close your container when you're not using it because it will dry out really quick. 
So that was the drop cloth. And then this one is tea rose. This is one of my favorite colors. But that has a little bit of film on it from where it dried, but the paint on the top is good, so I'm going to use it. Oh, here, let's not get no paper towels out this time. I'm going to move those out of the way. And I could have used that brush and just kind of rinsed it out, but it'll be okay. Isn't that a pretty color? Oh, can you see? Oh, I don't know if the camera will even pick it up. Maybe it will once it's against the white. It's hard to believe that Thanksgiving is just in a couple weeks. This is my favorite time of year. I like fall and winter. I know a lot of people like the hot weather. I'm not I'm not fond of hot weather. I'm not a skinny girl, so you know, I produce quite a bit of heat. So I don't need any help with that part. Oh goodness. Now I didn't sand these. They were pretty um, smooth to start out with. You could sand them. I will sand here in a minute when I distress. So anything that's rough will come off of it then. But they were pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Now I've not done the Dollar Tree um, transfers before, so I'm hoping they work okay. I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's a sticker. Same thing as a sticker. So I'm hoping that it'll work out okay. Okay, let that dry. Paint these other three. So I know I have some people that live in other countries, and I'm curious um, I know not all countries celebrate Thanksgiving like we do, but I would be curious to see what other countries are saying about get-togethers. Um, I do not watch the news. I try not to as much as possible because, um, well, to be quite honest, it makes me sad. And I don't like to be sad. And it's gotten to where anymore you're not real sure, you know, what is fact and what isn't fact. And so. I just try to try to stay away from it. I try to stay, you know, up to date, but I don't try to just sit there and be so worried about it that life ends. Cause I got into that when COVID first started. Oh my goodness. I was just I wasn't afraid I was gonna catch it or that I was gonna die. It just seemed like the world as we knew it was coming to a standstill and I guess I mean I guess it was in in a in a sense and so 
Because life as we know it still hasn't gone back to what it was before. And for a lot of people across the world, they're still quarantining and doing those kinds of things. And, and I get it. I understand. But then you have the battle over the vaccine and you know people ought to think they ought to force others to take it and some people think they shouldn't have to take it and I won't I'm not gonna say one way or the other what I think on it's you know it's a personal preference I think but it seems like we're all pretty much divided now, I know this is a cup, but, a pla but it's plastic, and the paint, when I go to wash the cup, it will come right off. And this is, I mean, this paint won't hurt kids if they put their mouth on I mean, I wouldn't suggest just walking around eating it or nothing, you know, but can you even see what I'm doing? Y'all, I'm just painting along like, uh... Okay, we'll give those a few minutes to dry. Check to see if we need anything on here. Those are paint up. Now I have this little bitty sand and paint. This is like super fine. This would be like 400 gram or so. And my dilemma is that's wet. I don't want it to look. I'm just going to set it right in there. How about that? Make sure these are dry. I better do these first because I'll finish them first. I'm just going to give them a little... A little rough up. Any spot you want more taken off, you just spend a little more time right there. Let's see how it'll come off. The other thing with... I don't know that all chalk paints do it. Um, the ones I've worked with do, um, especially Dixie Belle. If you have a little spot and you want a little extra off and you can't seem to get it by sanding, just get you a little um, baby wipe and do in that little area. In fact, I may run out and get one. I keep baby wipes in my truck because, yeah, well, it's not just in my, I make messes too. But see how if you just go across that, it'll come off on those pressure points. And I just try to do it anywhere that there would naturally be paint removed. So, voila. I don't know if you can see that. It's hard to tell. So, anyways, and I don't know for certain what I'm gonna do with these. I I tried to look them up, but there wasn't really a whole lot online, even on Pinterest. There were a few things, but not not a lot. So I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I may just wrap some lace around them and call it good. I know on the rolling pins, I'm going to try to do those transfers. Y'all are probably just tired of hearing me talk, just talking, sanding, and painting. I know one of the ladies messaged me one day. She was like, where are you from? I love your accent. Oh my God, I don't have an accent. And she said I sounded very countryfied. So, I take that as a compliment. I do, I do. Now, one thing about really fine grit paper is, guess what? There's not much grit there. So it doesn't take long before there's not any grit there. So just keep that in mind. Ooh, see, I like how that one came off. It 
And all that is, is I probably had a little less paint right there than I did anywhere else. Yeah, I just didn't paint this, so I probably didn't put a second coat on this one. And I think that's why I like chalk paint too, is it's so versatile. You can do just about anything with it. And it's runny. Oops, look, I didn't even get inside there. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, because they were on a cup. Near, near, near. That's okay though. Because they're not supposed to be perfect. Not supposed to be. My hands are hurting from holding so tight. Okay, so there are those. No, there's another one somewhere. Because I had six, didn't I? Five, six. Oh, man. Oh, well, it'll be okay. I'd only gotten eight out. And I did three pink. How funny. It'll be okay. Somebody's going to get a pink one and a white one, I guess. I don't know if I'm where y'all can see me, but y'all know what I'm doing. So, I think I may just wrap lace around those. We'll see. I got too many irons in the fire. Too many thoughts. And in fact, I want to get right in there, and this is not wanting to, so I'll go here in just a minute and get one of those baby wipes. Because I don't think I have any more. Chalk paint feels so good after it's been sanded. It's smooth. It's like butter. It's really weird. That's kind of gritty, and then it's just like butter. So, I'm sorry if y'all can't see me. It's hard. I have to sit down to do this, and then I can't see what can be seen on the camera. The woes of a small person. Well, I ain't, you know, like small round wise. I'm small tall wise, though. My father in law used to ask when I was going to sue the city. And I was like, what are you talking about, dude? It's like we're making the sidewalk so close to your hind end. And he'd laugh and laugh. I didn't think it was funny. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess I did. But, y'all, yeah, hold on just a sec. I'm going to go get a baby wipe. Nothing, no kind of expensive baby wipes. Just the equate. You know, the cheap stuff. That's what I buy is the cheap stuff. Now watch. It's not going to work. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. I was like, dang. See how it'll just take off where the pressure is. And then this tea will help get that dust off from when we sanded it. See, it took off a little more there. I'm sorry if I'm getting quiet, y'all. Kind of hard to get in a groove with doing videos, you know. I do a lot of thinking when I craft, so I guess that's probably part of the. 
I just set that right back down where some sandpaper or some dust would have been. Don't make a lot of sense, does it? Well, uh, wait. Hold on, guys. I gotta sand these and then I can move my sandpaper paper. And then I won't be getting sandpaper or dust all over what I've already wiped down. So. And I know I should probably have stopped the camera, but every time I do, then I have to restart a video and then I have to make them fit together. And that can be daunting. Because the more you have to fit together, then when you have to go put them together and edit, it can I haven't done it enough. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scream, you know. I haven't done it enough that it's real easy for me yet. So, it takes me time. It takes me time. Now, the joys of working with furniture is it's a great big old piece, and you can use a sander, you know, an orbital sander. So, where this is kind of small and tedious, you have to do it by hand. And part of the problem is that my sandpaper is almost all gone off of here. Now you do want to sand in the same direction as your paint. Because if you don't, you'll get scuffs and scratches in it. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. I mean, if you like that look, it's fine. I'm not saying you're, you know wrong or anything but I don't particularly care for that you spend 15 or 20 hours on a piece of furniture you don't want no kind of scratch in it nowhere I should have done another pad so I should have done Okay, I won't make y'all watch me do that anymore. Let me get this stuff off of here. There y'all are about to see the paint all over my desk. It was so pretty, and then I painted on it. Yeah, because it was little stuff like this, and I thought, oh, that won't be no problem. Yeah. Yeah, it was a problem. So we're just going to wipe them down good. And there may be a bunch of videos on these online. I saw some of these that had like the radon words or whatever. And they were painted with fall colors and that. And they were cute, but that wasn't the look I was going for. And um... So, and I think I stress because I love Chevy Chic, but I love Farmhouse, and they're so close but so different, you know. So, I always worry oh, well, that's not, you know, what somebody else would really like, but. It's not really, I mean, I guess it's about that, but it's not really about that, you know what I mean? And see how that darkens up once you get it wet? We'll paint these with a clear coat, and that will help bring some of that stain out, too. So, da -da, there's that. 
Now, I do want to try this. I'm sorry, my arm's in the. Oh, man. I just hit my head on the camera, guys. I do want to try this when y'all are on so that we can see if it works. I'd like to have that one. I'm worried about it not being square, though. Maybe that would be better to try for the first time. Maybe. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try this. Square one first. And these came from Dollar Tree. And they are like a backwards sticker. So, like it's on here. It's not going to go all the way around. Oh, uh, maybe if I did it this way, it would. Maybe. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it this way. Hold on, y'all. Oh, almost. It's okay. Do just a little bit off this edge. Oh. Okay, so you put them on like that. Now, the trick is that normally you would have a piece of, they, they come with a piece of things to do it, but you can use a popsicle stick. I do a lot of transfers on furniture, but I'm just going to use a penny to get that to stick on this thing. And you're going to go all the way around it. Well, this is much harder than it appears it would be. Hmm. Probably because it's on a round surface, I would guess. Now the trick is, when you go to take the top off, sometimes if you haven't gotten it good, the words or whatever you're transferring will try to stick to the top. See, like, right here, it's coming off with the paper. See, I lay it back down and go back over it. And that's just what you do. As you see that the letters are coming up with it, you just try to get them to stay down. And on something like this that we're going to distress anyways, it's not going to be as big an issue. But if it was like on a piece of furniture, you would for sure want it to come all the way out because you wouldn't want to be missing part of the... And it, it gets lighter under there when it does come off. See, like, this is still real dark looking. I don't know if you can see that. And that slider. I wish I had a popsicle stick. It'd sure be easier than this. But I don't think I do. Let me look. Let me look. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that'd be a big maybe not. Because a flat piece would be easier, but it's okay. Y'all are like, oh my gosh, hush, and just get the dang transfer on there.
wonder if I can do it with my fingernail. Maybe. That might be enough pressure. That's a lot easier if it will work. It's working pretty good, believe it or not. Voila! It did. Can you see it? It came off on there. Now, it is pretty roughed up looking underneath it, so I don't think I need to sand any of that off. I don't think I do. Because I'm going to do other things to it. But see how the film ended up? There's not any words on it. It all come on here. So now let me show you what we're going to do. I need to find... Yeah, I'll tell you what, ladies. I'm a mess. Well, I guess it's not probably all ladies. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Well, okay. Look, you are about to be like, no, she did not. I think it's going to do something insane. I wouldn't suggest doing it inside. I'm just saying. Now, this stuff when you work on small projects is amazing. Amazing. Because, you know, I like the Dixie Bell, the clear coat. But when you put it on with a brush, it goes on thick and sorry. And you, you know, it, you have to let it dry. This set does have a smell, so don't just like expect it's not going to stink up your house. I wouldn't suggest doing this inside. So what I'm going to do is spray the top and I'll let it dry. And then I'm going to turn it over and spray it. And then I'll finish doing what I'm going to do and take a picture so I can get this uploaded. Um, and I'll just do a... Um, right a picture at the beginning of the video because it will take this a few minutes to dry and then I'll have to do the back of it so that's all I got guys and I'm sorry it was so long and drawn out I, I hate that y'all sit there and watch me sand but I wanted to give you the whole uh, yeah see it's still real wet the whole shebang so that's what I got and I may I may do another part to the video and come back and decorate we'll just see how today goes if I don't y'all have a good day love you guys bye